You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. The Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Jopa Star Trekin Enterprise tarvitsi psykologin mukaan. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Solarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. No, Don't worry. We'll defeat the collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. <laughs> I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Joker would like to see you up on the bridge, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. Uh -huh. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. 
Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization. Mm -hmm. Just put it out there. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed, and some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. The others How is Cerberus organized? Cerberus is or- Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. But the others Let's discuss something else. Ready. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. Mm. We're staying though, right? I mean, this seat is real leather. Good to see that you're that keeping that it all in perspective, that Joker. Uh, leather? That again, that one at the... been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. That's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, 
Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. There you when one the particle side. occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. The if we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. jossa lennetään tuommoisella härivedillä. Normandi Crash Site on lyhyt tehtävä, se voisi olla ihan siisti tähän alkuun. Overlordi on tämmönen niinku, sivutehtävä, jonka voi, voi tehdä minun vaan. Tässä on näitä näin niinku, tyyppejä, mitä tässä pitäisi tosiaan niinku, pal palkata. Ja mä sanoisin, että... Tätä sieltä galaktisessa on liikaa kaivosta. Siinä juurikin vieressä. Siinä on myös Omega 4 relay. Siitä voi yrittää mennä, mutta se peli päättyy siihen sitten. Ja tässä, tässä versiossa peliä tosiaan niin on sentään kivasti niin näkyy nämä tehtävät kartalla. We do not have enough fuel to travel any significant distance. Tässä pelissä hankittiin mineraaleja skannaamalla. Ja monilla ihmisillä on ollut ongelmia sen skannauksen kanssa. Tää näyttää tällä hetkellä aivan samalta. Tää näyttää kyllä aika lailla samalla, että mitä se nyt oli aikaisemminkin. Launching probe. Submachine guns and assault rifles. Probe launched. In research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Launching probe.
Launching probe. Element zero, jos löytyy. Mm. Launching probe. Hyvä. Few research projects. Element zero is used for bio amp and omni tool upgrades, which allow squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. Probe launched. Tää, tää oli kans niinku tää planeettojen skannaus semmonen mikä meni mie emin asteen. Launching probe. Tuo pelikin oli vähän ehkä työnsi sitä siihen, siihen suuntaan. Launching probe. Tämä oli se planeetta, mihin tiputtiin niin kuin alussa. Ja tämä on tämmöinen fiilistelytehtävä. Tämä oli ensimmäisiä DLC-tä. Ilmainen. Tässä voitte pistää, mihin, mihin teidän mielestä täällä pitäisi, kannattaisi pistää tää monumentti. Tässä on eri osia aluksesta tipahtanut ympäriinsä ja ohjaamo oli tossa ja se ei se on toisella puolella ja näin edespäin. Okay. 
keräilen tuosta. Nämä nimet, oliko nämä nyt sitten niinku pelin tekijöitä vai mitä, mitä niinku viittauksia nämä nimet siinä jää. Tuo melkein täytyisi tarkistaa jostain, että mitä nämä nimet oli. Jacob sanoi tuossa alussa, ettei melkein kukaan kuollut. No, kyllä niitä näköjään meni puolet puolet no, aluksen miehistöstä. Presley ilmeisesti totesi, että alienit onkin ihan hyvä, hyvä säkki. Normandiassa piti olla niin miehistö alun perin. Peleissähän näkyy suhteellisen vähän, mutta niin, niin, jos täällä on jo 20 kuollutta, niin jotain niin puolet miehistöstä. Mielenkiintoinen tää kakkosen, kakkosen niinku tunnusmelodia. Tämmönen hyvin äh, synkkä ja arvotuksellinen, mikä on sellainen, että mä tykkäsin sitä ihan valtavasti. Ja ehdottomasti kyllä lempparipelejä ja aika monet on sitä, mitä tää kakkonen on sarjasta periaatteessa. Luultavasti sen takia, että se on annettu tarpeeksi aikaa tehdä ja sitten se on hiottu tarpeeksi. Se ei ole tarvinnut myöskään hirveästi näyttää, että niin kuin, se ei ole tarvinnut päättää pelisarjaa tai mitään muutakaan vaikeaa tehdä. Mutta para, parasta on vaan niin Nämä on näitä pelipaikkoja juuri. 
Että kun mun Shepardi tässä pelissä saattaisi ehkä pistää tänne näin. Siis se on tosi siisti, mitä Presley totesi, että alienit on jees, mutta... Ehkä ei Keidanin muista olla sitten. sen kerättävän ongelma. Missähän se nyt on? Kaikki paikat kattonu. Tietysti jos se on jossain laatikossa sisällä. Mä en ole laatikkoa löytänyt. Täällä oli... Silloin tässä pelissä selitys, että se on ollut kuolleen aika pitkään, joten siitä on kestänyt aikaa tulipumaan. katsojilta, mihin pistetään monumentti, niin pistetään nyt tähän näin. Keidanin muistoksi. Ja sitten pois. Mä oon oikeesti aika, aika tyytyväinen siitä, että, että pelissä on saanut olla tällaisia kohtia. Okei, tää on, tää on niinku Devan DLC, eli tullut niinku siinä kun se on julkaistu. Mutta tää on ollut sitten loppujen lopuksi aikaa toteuttaa tämmöistä, mikä ei, mikä ei muuta kuin vaan niinku sitä kokemusta vaan. Eikä, eikä ole niinku niin tiukkaa Go 
Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Varmasti repii peliverkkarin saa siitä, että ei oo... Ei oo menty niinku modernisoimaan tai korjaamaan tähän skannaamista tässä pelissä. Probe launched. Näkyy huomattavasti enemmän mahdollisia ryhmän jäseniä tässä näin. Tietysti tässä on pääosa pelistä, niin voi sitten niihin kerätään sitten tiimiä kasaan. Nelosessa tasolla saa nimittäin Squad Incendiary Ammon, eli, eli tämä voi niinku pistää koko ryhmälle vähän heikomman version tästä polttoammuksesta. Ja se tasauttaa niinku panssaria vastaan. Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. Then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Aria waiting. Afterlife now. Omega la oli vaan yksi sääntö. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Please. You have to help me. No one says you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? 
Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good what business, canola. but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive rates even. Please, I didn't do it. I said <laughs> shut it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. Go ahead and get set up on the Normandy. Right, I'll go make myself at home. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago. He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. We'll stop it. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Right. What a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Come on, let me in. Arya's expecting me. Whose day I'm about to ruin. Uh, uh, I'm not looking for trouble. Maybe I am. Maybe you better get out of here before I find you some. All right, all right. I, I've got stuff to do anyway. Come on, let's get out of here. enough.
stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. The motion capture on this club parantuu huomattavasti paljon paremmat animaatiot. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen. If you're feeling dramatic, it doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't. Fuck with Arya. Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship, that would matter. Here, we entertain my preferences. So, what can I do for you? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're going to make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered. But it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting, just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. <laughs> they're Omega's major players. <laughs> Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate, but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. I'm looking for Morden Solus. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. I hear you're recruiting. Mm. Why not just step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? Well, aren't you sweet? You're in the wrong place, honey. The stripper's quarters are that way. Show me yours, tough guy. I bet mine's bigger. Impressive. So, you're here to fight them? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. 
Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jareth's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The Mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a forge out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Where's the attack yeah, taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, Woody! Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Commander Shepard, is that you? I, I'd heard you were dead. No, I'm Helena dead. Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you'd remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above. I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. And now you're on Omega. Once a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh, no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. Is that what you're calling it these days? That's what it's called when a person works for the betterment of the people around her. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. The Destiny Ascension has Definitely. completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked Human Alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion to Ja, valtio, kun 
que pasa. Say something, Commander. Hmm. How much did I drink? One drink. That's all it takes. That racist Batarian bastard. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk, and an hour later he was puking blood. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you, that's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in.
It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. I'll get to him. Just point me at that bridge. I like your attitude, but we've got a plan in place. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. Sounds like a suicide mission to me. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout, but they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Well, we might have a way in, but getting out could be interesting. Let's find him first, then we'll figure out how to get back. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, Freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack. Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you Freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the Freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction, nothing more. Yeah. Whether you survive or not is up to you. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Hmm. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around, you'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. Good idea. Any Oh. Okay, 
tässä on tämmönen toinen, toinen niinku... Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. Start down. You're in the wrong place, freelancer. You the Blood Pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. When do the Blood Pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. Why are the Blood Pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The Blood Pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us, and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men, and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. <laughs> and he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time. Water here. Leave us alone! <laughs> useful. Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salki mentioned. I 
just in time. Saki? You met him when you were dropped off. He radioed to say you were coming. You three kind of stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. In a few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? I'm trying not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap him in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blasters finish with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of- Target is in sight, where a go? Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. to the main Doesn't look like Archangel's got much time. Well, let's not wait around too long. Come on, give these guys a surprise of our own. Trouble ahead! I'm going he in! Goes. He's with Archangel! Archangel? to see you too. <laughs> I'm just surprised to see you. You and me both. Still, it's good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs <laughs> is hard work, especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. 
Figured I could do more good on my own. Dosh. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus no systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. You nailed me good a couple times, by the way. Concuss of rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan. But it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. Leave I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. I didn't like sneaking anyway. Time to spill a little murk blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything we have. Got it. 
want something done properly. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Problem should take care of itself. I'll take it. Kerroksella on ihan kiva asunto täällä näin, mutta valitettavasti siinä on vaan oman pakkoppien hyökkäyksen alla. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Izo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. I'm not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got blood pack and blue suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side. Heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell was that? Damn it! They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. I didn't come all this way to let you die. I'll split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Jacob, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. If you say so. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. Yeah, we can help the people who are stuck. 
Täällä on ollut tosi hauskaa varmaan, että tätä syötä the shreds watch my back I'll deal with Archangel We took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Sons are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. 
Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. And... Heads up! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. I fixed it, but not completely. They're all loaded too. Watch your back.
Kirja näillä on sinistä verta. Vasta hopsi. We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. We better hurry. He looks bad. done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? They did what they could, but you're gonna have some scars. I'm sorry. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. <laughs> Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? Right now, they're a necessary evil. I need their resources to get this done. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Samanlainen näyttäisi olevan kuin kyseessä. Mikä ei ole millään tavalla ihmeellistä, koska on sama materiaali. Ei voi viedä ihan hirveän kauasta. Lähetykset tältä kertaa, tällä kertaa täältä. Oli ihan mielenkiintoista. Katsotaan mitä tehdään seuraavalla kerralla. Kuka seuraavaksi värvetään.